In today's episode, I'll be sharing an A to Z step-by-step method of how to make homemade yogurt at home for sales, for commercial purposes, and for business, okay? For those of you who would like to start a small-scale business and earn a profitable living, this is something you can try on the site. Hello, Varieties fam. You're all welcome back to Queen Varieties channel, where variety is the spice of life. Don't forget to like, share my videos, and subscribe to my channel turn on your bell notifications for instant prompts for our chief ingredient you require the milk i am using the needle brand and you have to make sure it is a full cream milk a milk that contains some um, high level fats you can also use the fresh milk as substitute but today we are using the needle brand you can as well go for pig milk or any other kind of powder milk brand of your choice. I have opened it up. We are going ahead to start the process. I have placed a pot on my heat. I will just gradually pour in the powder right inside here. Today we are using 400 grams of milk. If you are making something for a big number of people, you have to increase quantity. And for these 400 grams, we are going to first of all be mixing this uh, milk with 5 cups of water. What we are trying to do here is to dilute the milk so that um, it does not form lumpy. And I will be using 5 cups of water to do that step by step gradually until it is lump free. Now, if you want the result of your yogurt to come out very thick, I suggest that the 5 cups of water is okay. So the mixing process is now completed. I have now included extra 5 cups of water to make it all together 10 good cups of water for the entire recipe. I have turned down the heat to medium settings and I'm stirring this gradually until the milk heats properly. The idea here is to kill the bacteria that is contained in the milk to avoid any kind of sickness or bloating when you take the yogurt. Make sure you're doing this on medium settings. After a while of stirring, notice that you have bubbles in front of the milk surface. And then I will test it on my skin to make sure that I have reached the required temperature. When your skin can no longer retain it, that means um, you have, okay? In case you mistakenly allow the milk to boil, don't just worry. But make sure you have been doing this step or procedure on medium settings. Now I have placed it off heat, once in a while I will come in and stir it just to make sure that the cooling process does not take longer. So we are going to leave it for a few hours and make sure that the milk comes down to warm temperature. I have placed my finger into the milk and I will count up to 15 to 20. Once you notice that your hands or fingers can sit comfortably in the milk for a long time, that's an indication that you're now perfectly ready to proceed to this next step. I have a yogurt here which contains yogurt culture. That is what we are going to use to ferment this milk. I have measured exactly one cup of that. In case you don't want to use a store-bought yogurt that contains some um, culture inside it, you can also make a homemade one. I think I'm going to prepare a video for that. All you have to do is to prepare this milk a day before the day you'll be making the main recipe. And into it, you will add lemon juice or a whole lemon. I've now included one cup of um, yogurt with um, the milk that was just prepared. I'll stir everything to combine appropriately. Then you're going to allow that to curdle or ferment a period of um, 8 hours to overnight and there guys you have your homemade starter or your homemade culture which you will now integrate into the yogurt okay. The quantity you use is up to you. I am going for one cup. I have sealed with cling film. I'll cover the pot, place it inside a very big towel just to make sure that the fermentation process takes place overnight. I'm going to place this in the warmest environment in my house. You all will come back. I know at this point you have um, subscribed, you have liked and also you have also shared this video with your friends. We are back the next day 
and guys the yogurt smells incredibly amazing as soon as i opened it up and you can see what we are having right inside that pot it looks so so beautiful so delicious so with one cup of yogurt we have produced several cups or several outcome from the entire process you can see how white how smooth and so yummy it looks of the yogurt is done you're going to sweeten with only dates or maple syrup or sugar so we are done with the yogurt preparation but here i want to turn the yogurt to greek yogurt to do this i will pour the milk inside a cheesecloth and please make sure you're using a very neat cheesecloth okay because we are going to extract the whey from the yogurt itself Once it is poured in, I will tie it properly. Make sure that um, the cheesecloth does not sit at the base of the pan. You can see I lifted it up. So the water is going to drip right into the pot. I'll be doing this process for 7 to 8 hours or even overnight. Ignore the noise in my background. I have a little baby right here. <laughs> I am pouring out the yogurt. The whey has been extracted. All you will notice is that um, water drips out of the yogurt. It has thickened a little bit. We are going to have lumps. I will use my hand machine and wix this until it turns out very smooth. I want to charge you to subscribe. Have you subscribed to my channel? If you are enjoying this video, please don't forget to subscribe. Remember, you don't pay anything to watch my video. So please support my platform by sharing this video with your friends. Subscribe and drop your comments on the comment section. So that in my next video, I will also shout you out and say one or two things about the comments you have dropped in this video. A few minutes of wixing the yogurt this is the outcome we are having look at how sweet and smooth and delicious our yogurt turned out it smells so good this is organic healthy there is nothing added inside it no sugar no nothing i said earlier on if you want to sweeten it just go ahead transfer it into the fridge to sit there for several hours so that the fermentation process will now stop all right lovelies so a few hours later the fermentation process of course have stopped and it has now thickened up much more than what we had previously you can see how beautiful the outcome of the yogurt turned out if you want to use this for business, this is a perfect outcome for yogurt that you're going to distribute to your customers. And of course, you know that um, yogurt is expensive, therefore you're going to make a lot of income from it. It turned out so superb. You can see how creamy, smooth and yummy it looks. It tastes so amazing, even without any sugar or sweetener added into it. Okay guys, so this is the stage where the packaging should take place. So by now you have the packs where you're going to, you know, add your yogurt into. And you're going to package it according to the prices that you intend to sell. Alright, so what you have to do is to make market survey and then package your yogurt and sell. Consistency is perfect both for home use and for business purpose because you don't want your customers to be drinking milk. You want the yogurt outcome to be exactly as it is um, in this video so that they will enjoy the richness from you. And guys, our recipe is concluded for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you loved it. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, share my video with your loved ones. Enjoy the richness of the yogurt god with whatever you intend to enjoy it with thank you so much until i come your way next time god bless you bye for now